द नेशनलिस्ट मूवमेंट इन इंडो चाइना एमर्जिंग फ्रॉम द शैडो ऑफ चाइना द इंडो चाइना रीजन इन साउथ ईस्ट एशिया लाइज टू द ईस्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड साउथ ऑफ चाइना दिस रीजन कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ लाओस कंबोडिया एंड वियतनाम टूडे वॉज कॉलोनाइज बाय फ्रांस इन नाइनटीन सेंचुरी people of different regions lived here under strong chinese influence vietnam is also called the maritime silk road as it gave way to goods people and ideas colonial domination and resistance the french conquest of vietnam began in 1858 and completed by 1885 Tonkin and Annam got under French control after the Franco-Chinese War and in 1887 the French Indochina was formed. The French indulged in economic exploitation, military domination and tried to reshape the Vietnamese culture. The Vietnamese soon realized their suffering and gradually developed nationalist resistance against the french colonists why the french thought colonies necessary colonies were important to the mother country for economic purposes like other european nations france also took upon itself to bring the benefits of civilization to the backward people they constructed irrigation canals using forced labor in the mekong delta to increase agricultural production by 1930 vietnam became the third largest rice exporter in the world should colonies be developed colonies were to serve interests of the mother country was accepted universally eminent writer and policy maker paul bernard argued that economy of the colony should be strengthened to increase the purchasing power of the people more purchases would mean more profits to france the french contrarily did little to industrialize the vietnamese economy